now we will talk about the deviation produced by thin prisms deviation produced by thin prisms means if this angle of refraction angle of prism is very small the prism are the refracting angle of prism is very small then it is called thin prism when the refracting angle of prism is very small this is called thin prism it's a less than 10 degree we can say now we were writing mu is equal to sin i upon sin r that was r1 and mu was also equal to sin e upon sin r2 so when the angle is very small refracting angle is very small you can instead of sin you can write down i upon r1 or e upon r2 we know that angle of prism plus angle of deviation was angle of incidence plus angle of emergence so angle of prism plus angle of deviation is mu1 that's mu into r1 mu into r1 plus that's mu into r2 so angle of deviation is equal to mu into r1 plus r2 minus angle a so mu r1 plus r2 is equal to a minus a so a comes to be outside so mu minus 1 into a is equal to angle of deviation this means angle of deviation is depending upon refractive index and angle of prism so this is for thin prisms when the prism is thin another there are there are certain questions about this topic what are these questions for example i will take the question a, ray, a light ray a light ray that's incident on a prism is incident on a prism at an angle 60 degree at incident on a prism of prism angle prism angle 60 degree what is producing a that's minimum deviation of producing a minimum deviation of 30 degree find mu find mu how you will find it out you know that mu is equal to sine delta m plus a by 2 upon sine a by 2 sine a by 2 so this becomes sine this is 30 degree plus 60 degree divided by 2 upon sine 60 degree by 2 because this angle prism a is 60 degree minimum deviation 30 degree 30 degree so sine 45 degree upon sine 30 degree comes to be the mu sine 45 degree value is 1 by under root 2 so 1 by under root 2 upon 30 degrees 1 by 2 1 by 2 so 1 by under root 2 into 2 by 1 so it comes to be under root 2 so refractive index comes to be under root 2 so in this way we find out the refractive index this is one of the question second question is according to this 
a ray of light, a ray of light that is incident on the prism, is incident on a prism, mu is equal to cot A by 2, is equal to cot A by 2, then find the, then find angle of minimum deviation. We know that mu is equal to sine delta m plus a by 2 upon sine a by 2. This is equal to cot, this is equal to cot a by 2, cot a by 2. So, when this is equal to cot a by 2, you can write down you multiply it with cot a by 2 sin a by 2 is equal to sin delta m plus a by 2. From here, this comes to be cos a by 2 upon sin a by 2 into sin a by 2 is equal to sin delta m plus a by 2 sin sin cancel out. So, what remains? So, if I solve this one, these values, then I am having cos a by 2 is equal to sin delta m plus a by 2. This is the value or you can write down it as a sign 90 minus a by 2 is equal to sign delta m plus a by 2 because cos theta is sign 90 minus theta. So, sin sin cancel out. So, it becomes 90 degree minus a by 2 delta m by 2 plus a by 2. This is the value in this case you can write down or we can took the means uh, this LCM of 2. So, it becomes 180 minus a delta m plus a. So, this will be the value. So, it becomes delta m becomes equal to 180 minus 2a. So, this can be the value. Delta m is equal to 180 minus 2a. So, this angle we have to find out. That is what is the minimum angle of deviation. Another question is a ray of light is light ray light ray, ray is, is incident, incident on equilateral, equilateral prism, prism such that, such that I and E are same. And both are equal to, both are equal to 3 by 4 times, times the prism angle, the prism angle. Find the angle of, find the angle of deviation. Now, angle of deviation is equal to I plus E minus A. These are equal and they are 3 by 4 times, 3 by 4 times the angle of prism. So, 3 by 4 of A 
plus c by 4 of a minus a is equal to angle of deviation. So, it becomes 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 becomes 3 by 2 angle A minus A. So, it becomes A by 2. So, angle of deviation becomes equal to A by 2. It is equilateral triangle prism. This prism is equilateral prism. This means the angle A is 60 degree. So, delta becomes equal to 60 by 2, this is 30 degree. This becomes 30 degree. So, in this way, the angle of deviation can be calculated. Next question is, this is a prism. And uh, a light ray is incident on a prism of prism angle 30 degree. Light ray is incident on a prism. A ah, light ray, ray is incident on a prism, prism angle 30 degree. And mu is and mu is under root 3. And the second surface, this second surface, second surface of the prism is polished. And second surface of a prism is, prism is polished. What I did? He polished the second surface. Now, what will happen in this case when the second surface is polished? Now, the from the outside by which light ray it may retrace its paths, from which this is a normal. I will draw. On. It is bending towards this side. The light ray retraces its path from which light ray, ray retraces its paths and find the angle of incidence. Find the angle of the angle of incidence. How you will find out it? Find it out. You know that angle of prism is 30 degree. Refractive index is under root 3. And angle of this one, we draw over it. It strike on the surface, it reduces back its path. It revert its path, you can say. When it revert its path, this angle becomes 90 degree. It's normal to the surface, then it retraces back its path. Now, this R becomes equal to 90 degree. This becomes equal to 90 degree. So, now we have to put some, mu is equal to sin i upon sin r. So, when it retraces back its path, this mu is under root 3, sin i upon sin 90 degree. So, sin i becomes equal to, sin i becomes equal to under root 3. So, i becomes equal to sin inverse under root 3. So, when it becomes, and the Another is R is, this is uh, radius mass is path, it is straight, it will go plane surface, it will go plane to the surface, it is half of this one, 
this r becomes 30 degree not 90 this becomes 30 degree sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so it will be sin i this is sin i upon sin 30 degree is equal to under root 3 so sin so this value becomes equal to this value becomes equal to we can write down it as sin i is under root 3 into 1 by 2 so it becomes under root 3 by 2 so when it becomes under root 3 by 2 so i sin i so i is equal to sin inverse under root 3 by 2 so this is angle 60 degree so in this way you find out the angle of incidence Ramji. so in this way you find out the angle of incidence thanks have a nice day